Hi there, Matt here from Reflex Films and welcome to my overview today that I'm going to give to you all about motion tracking. Think about motion tracking as digital glue to integrate your graphics into your moving camera footage. With camera movement being so fashionable in our productions today, every time there is a camera movement, there is an opportunity to throw in some extra production value, but I'd only recommend doing this if it advances your story in some way. So, how does motion tracking work? I'll start off with the simple concept of single point tracking and then develop that onto four point and planar tracking and then we'll get into the really interesting stuff which is 3D tracking. Now realistically most of us are going to use motion capture to integrate titles into our productions. Most editing software will have a single point tracker built into it. For a single point track your software is going to be looking for a high contrast pixel. It might be a highlight relative to the pixels around it. Once the pixel is correctly tracked by the software, you simply glue your desired graphic onto the pixel and it'll move fairly convincingly through the frame. If there's any movement in towards the subject in the shot or any sort of rotation, for example, of a handheld shot, then a single point track may not be the convincing solution that you're looking for. The reason for this is that the human eye will naturally be looking for some sort of scaling of the object or some sort of rotation to match the camera movement. So next, we'll move on to four point and planar tracking. To deliver convincing scale and rotation, you need a four point track, which allows the software to analyze the scale and rotation of the object within your scene. This result can also be achieved quite neatly using planar tracking which instead of tracking four individual points, actually tracks a texture. The requirement for these sort of tracks is that all of the points or the texture be on one plane. For example, a handheld card, the side of a truck, a wall, or a billboard. These types of tracks can be very convincing and can be used to track 2D objects into moving footage. Probably the most well-known planar tracking technology is Mocha, which you can buy as a standalone application. They've also licensed out their technology into various plugins. Now things start to get really interesting. If we want to composite three-dimensional objects into footage in such a way that they really hold a convincing perspective, then it's time to move on to 3D tracking. Now the concept of 3D tracking really builds upon the single point and the four point track. What 3D tracking software does is tracks multiple points within a scene. So effectively it's multiple single trackers. The software is very clever and it looks at the way that these points move relative to each other using parallax to effectively reverse engineer a camera solution to the moving scene. Put simply, the software uses how the points move relative to each other to track the three dimensionality of the shot. This means that when you put an object into that solution, it will move in such a way that it looks like it's locked down within the scene. So as the camera moves closer, it'll scale up. If the camera moves left to right, it'll move relative to that, but also in perspective. So the leading lines and perspective of the 3D object will move accordingly. This effect can be incredibly convincing and definitely rings production value when you use it in your productions. Once the track is done, you can convincingly move just about any graphic element into the shot and move it in the X, Y, and Z plane, and it will move as if it's part of the shot. So with a little bit of planning, some great dramatic impact and perceived production value can be had relatively easily. Well, that's it for the overview on motion tracking. I hope this has opened your eyes to some of the points you could start at if you wanna introduce some tracking and integrated graphic elements into your video productions. And good luck to us all with our shooting and editing endeavors going forward.